There's an islanding and housing system also that's made from a single species of reed and it's called the Altala Islands and the Mariv Houses and you can find them in the southern wetlands of Iraq and this incredible waterborne community and technology is constructed by the Madan people. And they construct these floating islands by fencing off a section of living reeds that are called the Kassab and then upon that living fence, they stack the dried reeds plus mud plus dried reeds and mud until they create this floating platform. And these mudhif houses and these Altala floating platforms, they've actually seen these depicted in Sumerian Uruk imagery. So that would estimate this type of construction technology at about six and a half thousand years old. And the Kassab reed is actually integral not just to the construction of these islands and these beautiful cathedral-like houses, but it's also integral to every single aspect of life for the Madang people. But also it is food for water buffalo, it is flour for humans, as well as creating this material for these incredible technologies of the floating islands and of the arched houses that are actually constructed in as little as three days. And this Kassab reed, it is so incredibly versatile that it can be stacked into creating these islands, it can be uh, bundled to create these beautiful columns, it can be woven to create floors and walls, and then it can even be twisted so that it creates rope that then binds the buildings that they're constructing which are actually made without nails or wood or glass. And these Madan villages, they have been constructed in the marsh and they stay afloat for a generation, so about 25 years.